What's up everybody? It's your boy Lionel Jinx coming to you once again. This is the WWE 2K Dev Spotlight Series Episode 3. And in this week's episode, we're going to be talking to our lead character artist, Jonathan Gregory. Now, he's the man responsible for making sure that the WWE superstars look good. And they look good this year, y'all. They do. He's going to walk you through the process on how we take reference and get the superstars scanned and how that all gets into the game. And if you stay tuned, I might actually show you the first screenshots of WWE 2K18. You never know. I might just be kidding. But you got to stay tuned to the end might just happen that being said i hope you guys like it check it out i'm jonathan gregory i'm lead character artist for wwe 2k so i'm going to talk about the general process of how the superstars are created for the game um it generally starts with we get a head scans and of the superstar and then we review that head scan and once that looks good we then proceed creating the character's body and his attire for this year um, and there's various stages of, of that process and there's a what's called a low poly model which is the, uh, the model you would see in the game engine and then there's the high poly model which is a very detailed sculpture of the character so when we scan the superstars generally they come in we go to a show um, and when they have the time, they come in and they basically just stand in a sort of a small, I call it a room that's surrounded by cameras and the cameras shoot different expressions of the superstar and they all shoot simultaneously so that we get every angle of the person's head. That information is then used to create a model of the character and the textures for the face and skin and the details of the skin and so forth. Uh, yeah, my favorite part of the, of the character creation process would be the high-res sculpture. Um, I just enjoy the, the getting in and really sculpting the detail and trying to make the person as lifelike as you can and, and trying to capture all the details of the person's body and um, everything down to the veins to just how they look. And everybody's so unique that it, it's challenging to go in and try to make that person's body look like that person's body and not a generic muscular body or anything like that so it's fun and it's a challenge i enjoy it uh, this year's engine is great um because for me i'm getting to actually see all of the details rendered as accurately and how they look when i'm working on them and to see them go from what i see on my monitor and what i'm trying to create to see it actually go into the game perfectly it just it's nice to see it's nice to see there isn't uh anything lost in translation from A to B um, when it goes from what I'm sculpting to the game engine. Um, I'm liking that a lot. It makes it makes my job easier because I get to, uh, it just, I'm, I see what I expect to see, which is great. It's just great to see the characters come to life and, and uh, I think the fans are gonna be happy. Told you to stay tuned to the end. You got to see the first screenshots of WWE 2K18 right here on the WWE 2K Dev Spotlight series. That's how we do it here, y'all. I want to give a big thanks to my man Jonathan Gregory for taking the time out to show you guys our character pipeline. It's a pretty cool process. Um, that's going to do it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We got way more to show you. And until next time, peace. Get the deluxe edition and play four days early.